Wimshurst machine can be used to show multiple different demonstrations. Now make sure that you rotate in a clockwise direction when behind it. There are these two levers here and these two discharge levers. Now if you have these top levers disengaged, it's going to arc very, very quickly as shown here. That's because these two levers actually engage capacitors, which help to store charge. So rotate those levers all the way down, and we'll get a much larger spark. Another fun demonstration can be shown when you put a piece of paper between the two discharge rods. After it discharges through the paper, you can actually smell a bit of burning and some ozone being created from the power of the spark. You can also reinforce the distance dependency with the electrostatic force by showing your students that when the two discharge rods are placed close together, you get a small spark, but when brought further away, you get a large spark. Also, make sure to never touch both rods at the same time, or you could get a shock. After this is done, you can also use the Wimshurst machine to demonstrate the electric field lines of two oppositely charged and similarly charged particles using the pom-poms. When connected to the Wimhurst machine directly, you can charge up each pom-pom as you desire. So here's the electric field demonstrated by two oppositely charged objects. This works best when the discharge rods are very far apart so that they can't arc. And then after discharging the charged rods one last time, you can swap the leads so that both come out of the same output to show the electric field lines of two similarly charged objects like this.